I'm Chris Trott here at TaylorMade Golf and it is Irons Week. In my hand, I have two of the hottest products in golf, the P790 and the Stealth Iron. The quickest of them all is the Stealth Iron and then the P790 is another great option. But how do you choose when it comes to your fitting? Looking at these products side by side, they both have through slot technology. That is gonna help you get that speed off the blade and hit those yardages that you're gonna become accustomed to when you try these golf clubs out. One is a forged body. It's gonna give you that forged feel, but the other one also matches that in the stealth. Not a forged product, but it will give you the forged feel that we're gonna get into as we keep going. Other things to look at in the irons is the sole width. When it comes to this product, sole width is everything. It helps get the club through the turf. Side by side, you can see the Stealth is a slightly larger blade, slightly longer. It's gonna be the more stable of the two. That may put you into that category already, but there are other call outs that you should look for. Behind the golf ball, the P790 looks smaller and pure. It has a top line that is slightly thinner than the Stealth. And I'm holding the seven irons here because that's the pivot point of the set. As you spin them and you get into the back of these golf clubs, you can see that the way the shapes are is designed to pull the CG lower. But there's also things going on inside of these golf clubs. We'll start with the P790. This has speed foam air inside that hollow body forged construction. It also has a tungsten weight out in the toe. The engineers have taken care of CG location to give you a launch number and a spin number off this club. When it comes to testing them and starting out and going into your fitting, pick a target, get yourself an alignment tool as I've got here and have a constant. I'm using the TP5X golf ball. That is my constant. Your fitting is yours to own. Move around, pick the targets, get accustomed to the golf club. As it comes to taking the shot, remember we're gonna be recording everything. So we want you as the golfer to enjoy it, give us the golf shots that you hit normally, but we're gonna be looking at peak heights, we're gonna be looking at descent angles, and of course, speed off the blade when it comes to this golf club. So you know how far you normally hit your normal seven iron. Let's see how this P790 compares. Be fair with your fitter all the time. You're going to notice the feel. That one was hit a little low in the blade for me, if I'm being honest. But again, the way the club is designed, the way the tech is designed, the way the CG is designed, I'm still getting yardages out of that first. And I'm going to look at every single shot here. That first seven iron, 183 when it comes to total, 178 when it comes to carry and a 6,700 spin. So, so what does all this mean for me? Spin rate is gonna give you your peak height, it's gonna give you your descent angle. A number around there for this golf club is actually a good number. If you wanna hit a fade, or some of us out there looking at get this iron will be hitting more of a slice, the iron is gonna take the spin off slightly. That's the way these are designed. All things you don't need to worry about the design and the engineers have taken care of that. That's the whole purpose of this iron. So solid shot, little toey. Let's see how that yardage comes up. Again, the forgiveness is something you can feel straight away. The feel of the iron as we get into this 7,100, 180 on the total. So it's still covered my yardage. And let's just give us a third. And a call out for these golf shots are launch angle on those two that we've just hit has been in the 15 degree range for both of them. Launch is important. As I compare stealth to this, you're gonna see what I'm talking about. So we've had 15 on both. So again, get into your target. Just think about a smooth seven iron as you would hit it. I'm gonna leave that one in for you. That was super low in the blade. But again, the through slot pulls the product engineer, pulls that CG lower, okay? which if I just look at that individual shot now, which for me as a player, I would do that. I've had a 180, a 183. That's just gone 183 as well on the P790. Yes, the peak height has come down significantly because it was caught extremely low on the blade, but the tech in this product 
has allowed me to hit that the same yardage. It's crucial for the type of golfer that this is aimed at. Think about it, more than not, you're gonna be short. If you're this category of player that this product is lined up for, now you've got through slots in there, you've got speed off the blade, that even when I catch it as low as that one that I just did, it's still gonna cover my yardage. Starting to get the feel of it now. Much higher, and this is coming out with the 105 S300 in here. It's the stock shaft, so you're getting a true comparison as to how that looks. Back to 106 on the peak height, 106 feet that is, 6,300 on the spin rate. All things that impact where you're at. Now let's get to the stealth. And you can see when you look at this, it's a fraction stronger in the loft. All things you do not need to worry about. The reason it is a little bit stronger, we have the 3D cap toe wrap in there, the cap back design. That is the carbon that you can see here that wraps around. That brings that CG lower again. It's got echo dampening in there. That's the feel. As you hit the shot, it's gonna be a similar feel to that. This is not forged, but due to the echo dampening system, it's going to feel soft. If you listen to the sound on this video, it's gonna come off with that same soft feel. Yes, it's a hair larger on the top line, but if you're someone who's looking to get this iron, chances are you're not compressing and finding, for me, around that 15 degree launch. Chances are you're adding loft yourself. You might be losing the ball to the right. This golf club is designed with you in mind the idea is because the blade, the toe length is so long from toe to heel, stability is what it's gonna give you. Another interesting thing that I quite like about this iron, you can see the bottom groove is paint filled white. So when you do get there, I'm all about keeping your lines perpendicular. As we play golf, we wanna make sure that we set up perpendicular to the target. That white bottom groove is gonna help you do that. So speed off the face is another thing we should look for. Let's get some numbers here just to give us a marker as to what we should look for. Ball speed averages out, bear in mind I hit one low in the blade with the P790, but 129, okay? Launch angles, they should be comparable. This is about two degrees stronger, I believe, in the seven iron. So you're gonna see maybe a difference in launch, but 14.2. And then 6,500 is that spin rate number. With a peak height, and I want to ignore some of the shots I put in there, a peak height around 108. And then the thing that I'm interested to see here is going to be yardage. I mean, I was looking at 183, 184 total out of the P790, but already looking at this, it gives you confidence as a player. It looks like it's going to be a lot of fun to hit. And I feel like with plenty of blade, it's forgiving, it's stable. Good flight again, that's pretty consistent. Club speed 94, let's see what ball speed comes out at. Total 195, so it's jumped up quite a bit. Ball speed 132. Think about that now, you're seeing almost a 10 mile an hour gain, that's huge. And that equates to, for me, about 12 yards on here. Launch angle, was a hair lower but comparable. Peak height, a hair lower but comparable. Land angle, 48 degrees. Let's see how that looks at when it comes to the other products that we were hitting here. Land angle, 40, 48, 43. So not far off, comparable. But the biggest one for me and the biggest jump for me and what makes me wanna hit this again is A, how great it went through the turf and B, the speed off the blade. You can feel the speed, but it has also a nice soft feel. It's quite surprising. Feels very similar to the P790. And it just makes you want to keep going ball after ball after ball, knowing that it's in there. 94 on the club speed, ball speed. That goes 190, ball speed 130. Sliced a little bit, little pushy, but you can see it hung in there. Again, the stability of the club coming through. With this stealth iron, it really makes you want to keep hitting. 190 again. Let's see if we can really crank one for you. 
That's me maybe putting a bit more energy into it. But again, the feel off the blade and the sound is definitely in there. Let's go back to our P790 for a second. 196, I knew there was more yardage in there with a ball with a club speed of 95. So yes, I did go after it a little bit more. I push you when it comes to doing your iron fitting as well. Chop between the two products. Come back in to have another look at this one. Now, once you go side by side, much smaller, much sleeker. Are you a sort of golfer that might want to get into shaping golf shots, flighting golf shots? If those two things are appealing to you and they're making sense to you, now you might want to go back into the smaller club. I also have here two four irons. You might look at this and think, well, that's absolute heaven when I look at the stealth. It can go long. The one thing you notice here, there's some weight cut out, weight savings in the hosel. These can both be adjusted for you when it comes to loft and lie. Offset, how much that blade sits back. The stealth is a little bit more. Again, in a long iron, that could well be appealing to you. You put it behind the ball. I mean, it's large. It really is. It gives confidence. You can see that white score line. You can feel that off the face into breeze like that. It's a nice looking club. It makes you want to strike it for sure. Yardage is coming up now and speed's coming up now. 245 out of a four iron. That's good. It's a lot. So think if you're someone who needs speed, needs distance, that is now something that may well appeal to you. And then again, just to close out here, P790 with a bit of feel, smaller behind the blade, definitely got that player's look about it. And if you just want to turn, it makes you want to turn on to one, hit a proper golf shot. I'd be really happy with that. I'm warming up now. I might have to let you go so I can hit a few balls because that's come out really pure. P790 on the total, give you the comparison, 232. So it equates, doesn't it? It matches. From the fours to the sevenths, it's similar in terms of distance difference that you're going to see. And that's my call out for this. Speeds were similar. Spin rates, 4,100. Very acceptable when it comes to a four iron. Take the bottom number there for a better player. If you're someone who adds loft, the club, the way it's designed, the engineers have got you, the spin rates will be where you need them. If this is something that's intriguing to you, if these fantastic irons, and they are killer models for TaylorMade, if they have your interest. If this video has your interest, go to the website, go to tailormadegolf.com, check out the fitting pages. Do me a favor, get yourself fit. It'll go through all of this. It'll talk to you about everything you need to know when it comes to picking between these two awesome irons. Good luck with it. Enjoy the process. Hit the shots. Relax. Get into it, much like I was at the end, and you'll have some great success with these two clubs.